Hi, my name is Miroslav and in this video you will learn everything that you need to know about Starlink. Namely, where and how to buy it, what kind of services type available, what parts does Starlink consist of and the last one, how to install it right. Perhaps after watching this video you will understand that it is not really worth of buy it, so be sure to watch it till the end. And let's start with the fact that, first of all, before spending money, you should decide for yourself whether you really need it. Starlink is a satellite internet which is much more expensive than most of the wire internet. It is designed to have access where there are problems with the regular internet, somewhere outside the city, in the village or far away in the nature. If you often don't have an electricity as it happens after the next missile attack on Ukraine, then I would have advised you to call your internet company and ask if they can install batteries to have access to the internet or raise money for it by yourself or together with the neighbors and buy some batteries. In our case, the batteries can have different capacities, but usually those installed by the company do not work more than 4 hours, and with the long absence of electricity for 5 or 6 hours, the wire internet will be disconnected. Personally, I have just a such a case. But if you decided to buy a Starlink, here are the options that you have. The first and main one is to order with delivery on the Starlink website, directly to your country. In my case, it's Ukraine. Second is to order Starlink to the address of friends abroad and then transfer it to yourself or buy it from local resellers somewhere on Amazon. I personally bought one Starlink with delivery to Ukraine and the another one to Poland, so I have some experience to share. In my case, from the moment of payment to the moment of receipt, it was approximately two and a half months. Maybe it will take less for you due to the fact that my delivery was during the Christmas holidays. It should be noted that you cannot simply buy Starlink as a PlayStation and give it to someone. It is bought only for a certain person. For this you need to register on the website, then your account is fixed to a certain Starlink. The address you specify must be the address at which it will be delivered and installed. Then you have to pay a deposit and after you will receive such a magical letter. And after that all you have to do it is wait. And sometimes you have to wait for a long time. Later you will receive a letter in the mail with the information that your Starlink will be ready within a week and you need to pay for the hardware itself. As soon as you do it, you will receive a letter confirming the payment and then you are already waiting for a letter informing you that your Starlink has been shipped. You can also see the information that Starlink has been shipped in your personal account. You can also see their estimated delivery date there. But as practice shows, in my case it was postponed for three times. Next, you will receive a letter with a tracking number, but in the case of delivery to Ukraine, it is indicated incorrectly. As it is delivered by Nova Poshta, the tracking number will appear only when Starlink crosses the border of Ukraine. And after that, you will receive the notification from Nova Poshta that package is on its way. It is also important that the bill for using the internet is sent to you two weeks after sending the Starlink. That is, it may be the Starlink has not yet arrived, but you already have to pay for the internet. If you have such a problem, then you need to contact with the Starlink support. If you order abroad, it will be a little bit easier because the shipment is made via DHL and you can track exactly where your parcel is in real time. For example, I ordered my second Starlink to a Polish address. Everything is the same as here, but the price for the service plan and hardware will be higher. An important point. As I said earlier, when you buy Starlink, the address you specify, it should be the address at which it should work. For example, if I order it in Poland, then after it's transported here to Ukraine, it is necessary to change the registration, owner, bank details, data and most importantly, change its location. 
It seems that they are implementing a new feature so you can make it in your personal account, but at the moment it's still not available. You can also buy it from a local resellers, for example on Amazon, and if the price was really high before, now you can find it approximately at the same price as if you had bought it directly. Please note that after purchasing you need to change all account data. Therefore it is better to do it at the personal meeting so that it doesn't happen to you that you will buy hardware and then you will not know what you have to do with it. You can also find promotional Starlings on the market, which were apparently brought from Italy or Germany, where they were sold at a special price for 1 euro. And if everything is okay for you, then after a month you will be charged around 450 euro for the hardware and from 80 till 100 euro per month for the internet. So pay attention to that too. Regarding service types, if you buy Starlink with delivery to Ukraine, there is only one option so far. It is residential service, the cheapest and as I know it is $60 per month for now. If you buy it from abroad, there are several options here. This is a tariff that costs more than $500 and has a high speed up to 350 megabits. But for it you need to buy much more expensive hardware. As for more available services, we have the same residential service, which is the cheapest. Its disadvantage is that you cannot travel with it to other countries. For this you need to purchase a special portability option. In different countries the price for it is different, but for Ukraine is still free. For those who are constantly traveling, there is a special RV service. And yes, it is more expensive, but with it you can move from place to place and what's important thing is you can hold using the internet service. There is, for example, if you know that you are going on a vacation for a summer, you can activate the internet only in this term. An important detail is that the payment is made per month. It means that if you turn on the internet and use it for a couple of days and turn it off, you will be charged for the whole month and not for just one day. Also in description on the RV service you can see a note that if you switch to the more expensive RV plan, you cannot switch back to the residential. And what's more, if there are more users in your area on the residential service, they will have priority in speed of over your RV. Unfortunately, I don't have the opportunity to check whether it's really true. But to summarize, the residential service is the most optimal and good option. Starlink consists of a satellite, a wire from it to a Wi-Fi router, a power wire and a mount. The only element that needs to be installed on the street is a satellite. And is also it is possible to mount it depending on where you will put it. Once you have received your Starlink, all that you have to do is to install it. And after you have waited so long, of course, you want to do it as soon as possible. But here it's better to take your time. If you have your own house, then there will be no problems here. You just put the Starling in an open area or on the roof as shown in the images on the website and that's it. By the way, the mount that comes in the kit as manufacturer writes is intended only to quick install it on the ground and check the quality of the connection. You can buy the mounts on the Starlink shop, but this section is not available for Ukraine yet. Another option on Amazon. There are already many different DIY made options and different prices. But if you want to install it in an apartment building, then the real challenge begins here. I have to say that it won't work inside the apartment or near the window, balcony or if it does, but really really bad. It is definitely not what you expect for. So here there are several options. The first is to put it on the roof on the house and hope that no one there will steal it or accidentally damage it. Or buy a mount and put it on a distance of at least one and half meters from the wall of the house. But before doing this, I would advise you to go outside near the house and test it on the street, to understand which side of the house is better to put. 
By the way, if you have already turned on the Starling and now you don't know how to bring it to its initial position, then in the settings there is such a stow button. After pressing it, the satellite will take position as it was in the box. Let's go back to the installation in the apartment. In my case the mount was 1 meter long, but as it turned out that it was not enough. If you look in the Starling application, it clearly shows that the wall of the house in my case creates a big obstacle. And because of this, the internet will work with the short interruptions every 48 seconds. It means if you want to make something online like zoom calls or streams, then you will have certain problems. It is also an interesting detail that in 12 hours of operation Starling is optimized and starts work more stable. All this time it collects all the necessary information about obstacles. It is important that during this optimization it cannot be turned off from the power grid. And in my case it is impossible without the power station. The average consumption of the Starlink is somewhere from 40 to 60 watts. And it can reach 70, 90 or even more, in case if the Starlink needs to melt snow or ice that may fall off on the satellite antenna. In the end, I really wish you and I use Starlink in order to catch the internet somewhere in high or on faraway islands somewhere in Asia and not during the war. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like this video so as many people as possible can see it. I hope I have told you everything that interests on this topic and this information will be really helpful. If I forgot something, you always have opportunity to leave comment below. And that's all for today, believed in armed forces of Ukraine, believe in victory and I'll see you in the next video.